Merhaba. Welcome back to Istanbul, Turkey. We are here with our two friends, Crystal and Titus, and we are going to explore some of the most iconic tourist attractions of Istanbul. We are currently standing in the middle of Sultanahmet, which is home to the Blue Mosque, and Hagia Sophia. And oh look, there's Crystal and Titus. Hello. So, interesting facts about Hagia Sophia. It was actually built as a church. In 537, it belonged to the Orthodox Church. Then it was a Catholic church. Then it was a mosque. Then it was a museum. And as of July of 2020, it is now a mosque again. Back in 2020, Ryan and I were here and we actually got to tour the Hagia Sophia when it was actually a museum, which was amazing. Now that it's a mosque again, I don't know why, they're charging actually 25 euro to get in. So we won't be doing a tour of it here. It is an amazing place to see. If you have not seen it, I would definitely recommend it. But since we've already seen it, it really wasn't worth it for us for the price. So we're going to take you into the Blue Mosque because it does not have an entrance fee. And as long as you don't go around prayer times, you can go in and walk around for as long as you want on your own. Or you can take one of the overpriced tours from the locals, whichever one you want to do. Oh, you, don't, you need to be nicer to the locals. They're not all overpriced. Uh, some, most of them are, unless you take like an official tour. As you can tell, the Blue Mosque is gorgeous, the way it was built and designed, especially with all those blue, beautiful tiles. It really is an amazing sight to see. Another place that's close by here from Sultan Ahmed that is very, very interesting to see is the Basilica Cistern, which dates back to Roman times from the third to fourth century. It's on the first hill of Constantinople, and it was basically, easily put, the city's underground water system. Cistern. It is totally worth the $20 that it costs to get in here for the second time because there's things that you don't see the first time you come down here that you catch the second time, like the upside down and lopsided medusas and some of the medusas that are actually staring at you.
So as always, videos and photos never do something justice. And that's exactly what the situation is with the Basilica Cistern. Obviously the footage you just saw is amazing. And it's definitely worth the $20 US dollars to go visit. You really should make the effort to go down there. It's just an incredible viewpoint. Right now we are headed to Nurse Set as Ryan is requiring us to go there for lunch. We had the best hamburger we've ever had in our lives there when we were here about a year and a half ago. He's, if you missed it, he is a famous Turkish chef also known as Salt Bay, and his restaurants are all over the world and they are cheaper to eat at if you're in Turkey. So we're headed there now. You'll get to see what we're gonna eat. I don't exactly know what we'll all choose, but it should be fun. We have just finished lunch and nobody got the steak that was covered in 24 karat gold, unfortunately. But the burger was filling, satisfying, and still definitely one of the best burgers I've ever had in my life. Now we've come to the Grand Bazaar to just walk around and see what we can buy that we don't need and probably pay too much for. What did you think about the Grand Bazaar and the Spice Bazaar? It smells delicious, but it's overwhelming by the amount of people. Yeah, there's a and lot of people. And it's very weird that there's like a spice store and a jewelry store, and then a spice store and something else. And then a lingerie store. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or a belly dancer store. Wouldn't that be? Yeah. And then more spices. One of many things you can buy at the Spice Bazaar is, of course, spices. You can get all kinds of cinnamon, saffron from Iran, which is actually a really good value if you do buy it here in Turkey. And you can also buy different kinds of teas. This is not exactly tea. This is straight menthol, and it will clear your sinuses. And you're not supposed to drink it like I almost did. And we're also buying apple tea, which is very famous here in Turkey, as you might well know. Pineapple tea, and what they used to call in 2020 COVID tea, which will also help when you have like a sore throat or a cough or chest congestion. I will do one pomegranate juice. Okay, small. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Hi. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Ducky, you're right. That is very mouth puckering. But it's very good. And now, if we all, if any of us have something, we all have it because we all just tried it. But that's what happens when you're friends traveling together. Why. <laughs> yes. There's just a little bit of a traffic jam at this intersection. Well, we officially escaped the Grand Bazaar. It was rather busy, kind of crazy in there. Apparently, it was very crazy. And then it dawned on us that it was Saturday. Yeah. Apparently, Saturday is the busy day at the market. Which, yeah, that's even the same in, back in the states. So, yeah. Maybe not go on Saturday if you can avoid it. But still fun. We uh, have how many kilos of tea? I think three or four kilos of tea. Um, yeah, that's a lot. But we'll drink it all. And it's good, so it's worth it. And it was a good deal, honestly. Now we're walking back to our hotel across the Golden Horn. And I'm going to avoid a fishing pole. And. That's probably gonna do it for the day, this first day in Istanbul. So we'll just stop and say, thanks, thanks for, for traveling, traveling the, the world, world with us. us.